Good morning, North Town. I'm Emmanuel Rodriguez. And I'm Josiah Mendoza. Today is Wednesday, March 7th. Today we'll get a look at stingers competing in nationals, lady hornets in state sectionals, discuss current events and world news, see what's trending online, and much, much more. All on NTV News. Let's start with world news. Today in world news, the governor of Missouri indicted with the felony. On February 22nd, Governor Eric Grimes was indicted and jailed on an invasion of privacy charge. This happens just weeks after Governor Grimes admitted to an affair in 2015, while also denying he had blackmailed or took nude photos of the woman he had an affair with. Though under pressure to resign, Grimes is determined to remain in office. Republican leaders in the state house have raised doubts about Grimes' future, and State Senator Robert Schaaf has said that the charges might lead to the impeachment of Grimes. Yesterday, the Special Investigative Committee on Oversight held its first hearing on the investigation. Let's look at what's buzzing around Norristown. The Stingers are ninth in the nation in POM. The dance team went to national competition in Florida this weekend. They got ninth in small varsity POM. Way to go, Stingers. Over the weekend, the district music competition was held at Liberty High School. We had a great showing in the competition. Many qualified for state, including five soloists in band, 14 solos, two duets, and one quartet in the orchestra, and six soloists and three ensembles in choir. For the full list of student awards, go check the Northtown News on Twitter or the school website. The 11th annual Northtown Poetry Slam will be at 7 p.m. on April 13th. If you would like to perform your poetry in competition, play music while judges tabulate scores, or host, please see Ms. Durrell, Ms. Heyer to sign up before spring break. In today's internet highlight, we, look at, we take a look at the Oscars. Last Sunday at the, Os the 90th Oscar Awards, Guillermo del Toro won the Best Director with his movie The Shape of Water, which also won Best Picture. But perhaps even more impressive is Robert Lopez. At the Oscars, he won Best Song for Coco's Remember Me. But in the past, he also won Best Song for Let Frozen's Let It Go. In addition to these two Oscars, he has won two Emmys, three Grammys, three Tonys becoming the first person ever to double EGOT, meaning winning an award from all four organizations. Congrats to all the winners and their hard work. Now let's get updated on Northtown Sports. The Lady Hornets will play in the state sectionals game tonight at 3 against Lee Summit North at the Silverstein Ice Center. Tickets are 850 if you don't ride the spirit bus. Good luck, Hornets. And there's our show for today, Northtown. To find more NTV episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, NTV at NKCHS. To stay up to date on everything that's buzzing around Northtown, follow us on Twitter at Northtown News. And for photos and announcements, you can find us and like us on Facebook at NKC Journalism. Thanks for watching, Northtown. Keep it classy. And as Great day to be a Hornet.